Hey guys, I'm going to show you the settings walkthrough and we're going to select my profile here first. Okay, go down here, click on options, graphics, and we are looking at the display options. You have this, which is very basic, you just select what you want, you know, you know it's right in your face, there's nothing real hard. There's an advanced tab that you can actually select what you want your graphics card to like make high, for example. Um, you know, so most, I have set on ultra, so everything is either on ultra high, and there's a random medium here for mirror distance. But you can set that as you please, and of course there is a simple setting like we said before. Audio wise, you have your master volume, you have your sound effects, music volume, you know, all this stuff as well. Very, It's very self-explanatory, but I just want to go over it with you guys so you guys are fresh. <clears throat> Gameplay, uh, this is where you can set like your currency, if you want to use miles or kilometers, then you can go back to, this also will let you change your simple transmission, like your simple automatic, real automatic, and all that stuff as well, so that's not too bad. Then you got your brake intensity, automatic retarder, motor brake, all the types of other things that, options that we you know with the truck. <clears throat> your truck speed limiter, I have that shut off so I can speed above 55 miles an hour, because that is the cap unless you turn that off. And then you have a rain probability. I think the fault is usually half. I have it turned down because the rain is just a real bitch to drive in and I just don't enjoy it. Um, that'll be it pretty much for gameplay. It's like, like I said, it's real self-explanatory. Keyboard controls. I use a keyboard, but you can use you know, a joystick, a steering wheel, a gear shifter, all that stuff. Now, if you're gonna use a keyboard like myself, you're gonna have to, and, and you wanna actually like make it to what you want it to be, um, if you change one thing, you're gonna change a couple other things. So scrolling through here, you know, if you're gonna change like your your gas to so, like your space bar, make sure the space bar is not being used for something else, or else you're gonna have to compensate for that. But uh, I usually leave it, you know, just right out of the box stock. I don't change any of the controls at all. So um, then over here to controls, you have all your stuff for like your keyboard, but like you have your like sensitivity now. It's a little bit different. Now if you had a, for example, like a keyboard and mouse steering, keyboard plus mouse steering, including pedals, um, that would basically be what you would do if you had the steering wheel and the gas and the shifter as well. Obviously I don't use that, I use the keyboard. So, but you can tweak everything to what you want. It's very nice. It's really not that bad. The game does adapt to you, so you can make it, you know, you can make it whatever you want it to be. So, but uh, chances are good. Our next video will be on our uh, new user profile. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the video is going to be about yet. I haven't decided on what out of the things that I was thinking about that I want to choose at first. So, alright guys, any questions or concerns, shoot me a like, or uh, shoot me a comment, rather. And uh, if you guys would like, uh, like it and subscribe. Thank you.